good morning. I am the D-O-double-G D-J-W David Wood. Yeah. Let's do that again. Right, good morning everybody. I'm Dave Wood for Bag Up TV. And we are on our way to Lindome Lakes for the Shimano Aero Cup, the first round. Basically what it is, is a feeder match today. You can fish the bomb and use a catapult as well. So there's those rules what are different this time. This is the first time that I've done this. It was on last year um, and I didn't get a ticket for it because it's on a Tuesday. But Alan fished it and a few others fished it and they really enjoyed it. So today, something different. You've got to win your section to try and try, to win, try, try and qualify for the final, uh, which is for a lot of money, and which is at Lindon Lakes as well. There's a couple of um, qualifiers. There's one at Lindon, one at Barston, one at Allcroft. So the places that I go, it's only uh, it's only right that I fish it really, isn't it? If I go them places, so we're stuck in bloody traffic. So anyway, we'll get there when we get there. I'll see you when we get there. We have to get there. Bit of coolio for your west side. See you in a bit. Being able to have a chat with my mate Alan at the minute, he seems to have got a new friend. Who's that? Just a friend. You've made a new friend? Oh, a friend? He was, he was wigging his ear off all bloody morning, so I'll have to have a chat to him after the match, so we'll see what happens. All right. <laughs> Best friends forever and ever. Oh, friend! Of the Aero Cup 2023. Um, yeah, it's still Dave Woods. 29 bennies. Right, well, we've just drawn. 29 beaches. What you got, Frodo? Oh, that's all right. Yeah. Um, it's absolutely smashing it down now. This is going to be an absolute nightmare. Uh, so yeah, I've drawn them. 29 bennies. Um, I know it's a bit of a walk, I think, but see how we get on. Uh, Notches on bonsai. I didn't want bonsai, he said. Um, Jeff Wiseman's on Loco, he fancies it on there. 40 Summit on Loco, good peg I told him. Um, that's it really. Should have parked down there you fool. Just giving it to Alan, not way past. Right, so anyway we'll get there, it's going to be rainy, windy, it's going to be a wet one so strap in and uh, let's get to the peg now right. Right. yeah i'll see you in a bit Who booked us on this, Steve, eh? Hey. What's going off here? It's terrible, isn't it? Yeah. What are you on? 
29. Right, here we are, we're on Bernie's Peg 29, just had a massive downpour, everything's wet, but uh, starting in five minutes, 11 while half four I think it is, and uh, hopefully we'll get a few bites here, um, so like I said, feeder and bomb match it is, you can feed by hand, you can feed by catapult, um, so I'll turn you around, show you the peg. Right, so this is a peg. This is the arm going up to 26, uh, 25 on corner. Got my mate Chris next door. We're next to him at Barson, he give me a good hiding. Tids is down here, he's not happy. Uh, I don't know what else is drawn. Beefy's over there. Beefy had a nightmare at the draw. Didn't pay on and we had to draw again. So I got this bit here. Which looks nice enough, doesn't it? Big area, but not a lot of fish hang about here. So. I've got my 5G rod set up, Cortex, another 5G with a bomb on, and my Spectre, which is a feeding feeder rod, which is there. And then I've got my bait, which are fishery pellets only. And uh, what I've done is get a few fishery micros. You know, I like the krill action. And I've just soaked them in this krill stuff. Bait Tech Deluxe Liquid. So I've got a few reddens in my mix. Um, so uh, yeah, something a bit different than everybody else. So that's it. Um, start on the method, and then probably chuck a method out down the corner or something like that, and just keep just keep putting a few fish in the net. Hopefully, yeah, go steady away. So a bit of a rush, a bit of a walk around it were. Just gonna relax now five minutes and uh, get my thoughts together and just uh, relax and see if I can see a few fish. So uh, hopefully we'll be all right. All right, catch you in a bit. All right, so two minutes from the off now. Odd fish moving about. I think I'm gonna ping a few pellets to that corner. Yeah, we go. What? No, should we have one? Go on then. That's it. Start short. And uh, from there, right, I won't be. Right, a few pellets, see what we can catch.
my steward. That's not a good start, is it? an F1 at the net, not used to catching it. And I've got uh, two really little stockies, which are really small, but um, people are catching over there. I've seen a few fish come out. I've not seen these two across catch much, but uh, just trying to alternate lines and keep getting an odd bite. Just keep the fuel. Pellets going in. Oh, 
it, Fred and wives. I have got a bit of a long chunk over to them weeds, which is pretty much straight in front of me, so if uh, I don't start catching on these like I should do, I'll probably have a quick chuck out there, that one digging. Um, but that's it, just keep trying to catch a few. I'll turn at these lines and uh, where we go. So I'll come back to you when we start having a few more, I think. Better fish, if we get it in. stopped, the sun's come out and it's uh, quite a nice day now, hopefully everything will dry off. And uh, start getting a few more, I've got three, four, five, six, got about six or seven F1s, a couple of little really stockies, some small stockies. Uh, my brother's just been to see me from work, he's like, oh do this, do that. I know best. Right, if you wanted to fish, if you wanted to fish it, you should have bought a bloody ticket. But I know he's only trying to help. And uh, this is being down there giving titsy advice and I'm like, well, there you go. Apparently titsy's doing quite well in that corner. Just fishing down there. So... It's quite hard work to be honest here. I've got uh, three lines going, one at six metres, one at about 15 to 20 metres, and then down this edge, and down that edge. Well, I've got four lines. But I keep getting, just keeps bringing odd fish out of there. Then when I took over, I've tried a bomb, tried a method, and uh, just don't like it. Tried wafters, tried hard pellet. Mm. I thought we were going to get a few more here, but you know, not them. See that bag? Right? It's got crackers and no tummy. Um, yeah, I thought we were going to get a few more here, but not to be. Keep running on. Another fish jumped out of there. Keep seeing fish out there, and then I took a feed it out. Nothing. Uh, I've not heard out of anyone, I'm probably going to give Jeff Wiseman a ring. See, you what, mate? 
Uh, seven. You go. Yeah, they're a pain, them, aren't they? I don't know where they've come from. So. Keep feeding, keep going. Old oh, Chris next door, what a pound of wings. And uh, he's a bit eager now. I went next to him at Barston and he absolutely slaughtered me at Barston. I think he had like 108 pounds or something, caught loads of big fish. So, uh, that's not on, innit? God, I can't believe that. Let's try it with bait out. Sometimes you can. I don't know if that's telling me a lot now. Yeah. Yeah, keeps tangling around. I'm not try that. You do catch with a bait out of the finger. And uh, some of my Polish mates, they always say, oh, they catch without putting it in the uh, method. Let's try that again. So, yeah, just keep going, I think. And I'll get Jeff around to see what he's up to. I'll go from there. in a bit, surely. Got to wish me luck.
I was just about to offer me crisps then. And then it went round. Try that now. Marriage Chris to the house. Awesome mate. Alright, we're down the edge now. It's uh not there that off anybody. Much off Nosh, yeah? Not heard much of Jeff, so I don't know what's happening. Just down this edge. I'm going to get a few here. I've got my liner already. You can push that. This edge and six meters has been the best. I have kept pinging eight rolls into the middle. And it's been tough out there. I've had two or three out about 20 meters. But every time I chuck on it, I'm wanting to get out on it. So, but the catching on that point, and I don't know what section I'm in. Um, I don't know if I'm in this one what goes round or if I'm in this one here it's in the left um, I'm not quite sure how it's, how it's done but I've not had any carp just, just F1s um, hmm it's been a bit um, I thought we were going to catch a few more. It's been quite hard. What can you do? You can only do your best. So uh, we'll carry on and see if it does again. Right, well we're in the last sort of hour now. And uh, it's been quite odd. It's quite odd one down this side. But everyone else seems to be catching as well. So. No car. Not so much. No, I don't know where they are. But seem to be catching on that point, and old Chris is stood up every now and then and he looks over at me, and I think, oh, God, he's got another one on. So everybody 
seems to catch you, doesn't he? Just alternate in these two lines. Keep going to keep sticking odd one up till end of match. That's all you can do, isn't it? Not long left now. I've not heard off, off anybody. I don't know what Nosh has got. Uh, the last I saw I heard from him was one of uh, our our members had had a walk around Paul Castle and uh, he uh, said he, he was struggling. But from what I heard, Tidsy around that corner, Tidsy were absolutely baggy. So from, that's from what I've heard, but I think these have done me on the, on the point as you would as you, as you would think. This bloody open bay here, it's never never that great. But um, yeah, I prefer to be in a bit more water, shall we say, down there. But it is what it is. We don't know what sort of section we're in. What? Ah, oh, here we go. That's why he was stood up. He's got a big calf as created. You don't. You always seem to get a bigger new. Eh? Huh? I said you always seem to get a bigger. So that's it. He'll have done me now. And he on points been catching. Yeah, another day, another disappointing day. So, yeah, not long left. Keep going, and uh, you can keep winkling out a few fish. But I don't know. Old I mean Chris next to it. Smiling like a Cheshire cat. I would be with, I mean, £10 carp in the net, but counting them all, can you? We've still got a couple of qualifiers on this anyway. We've got a qualifier at, at Allcroft, which will be uh, a good one. And uh, where else have we got a qualifier? We've got a qualifier at Barston and all, so. You never know, do you? We might get it right on one of them. So, anyway, keep keep uh, keep it going in. Keep 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 catching these fish what we can, and uh, I'm gonna get my head down and see if we can get another one. And keep. There we go. That's on. Keep going, that's what they say, yeah. Keep on nobbing as John John says. Can't catch up with Keep on nobbing. I want ten of them for Chrissy's one. Right, get this out, carry on. Carry on regardless. Carry on regardless. Carry on. Ah, I'm off.
So we'll do sections first of all. And like we said this morning, the top five from each leg go through. I'll call out the qualifiers after Nick's done the presentation. The final is on the Tuesday, November the 7th, not the 8th, as I put in the email. Was, that was me being an idiot. Uh, if you qualify for this from this one, you can still fish the next two qualifiers. You can only qualify once, but if you want to fish the match, you're entirely entitled to do so but if you want to pass a ticket on to somebody else feel free to do that as well we can't do it for you so it's down to you to do that okay right well we'll start with the sections um so we're going to start on benny's two to 23 with a weight of 92 pound is craig Fitzwell. well done well, well, awesome awesome mate um Next section, 26 to 57, with a weight of 104 pound, treble default, Terry Oldfield. Well done, mate. You have to drop that in, did you, Yeah, because I've got double default. <laughs> <laughs> treble. Uh, right, we're going to go on Bonsai now. 14 to 49, Mal Duke. Mac Duke. Surely Duke. Uh, with 95.15. Mac attack. Well done, well done mate. Well done. Awesome. 56 to 83, double default. Myself. Oh, well done, Spade. Well done. Um, Loco now. 18 to 40. Is there another bombs on here? Oh, well, that's it, yeah. Uh, right, Loco, 18 to 40. Simon Short with 57.06. Well done, well done, Simon. And 41 to 16, Martin Waters, 89.8. Well done, mate. Well done, Martin. Oh, well fished as well, back from what I've heard. Thank you. Right, top five now. Uh, right, in fifth place, picking up 80 quid from 29 on Benny's. Uh, with 107 pound, it's the wood. <laughs> it's the wood. It's the wood. Oh, oh. Yeah. Can't bend oh, down, no, you? you have to get us that speed. Well, then, Here, well, let well. me shake your hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> awkward, isn't it? <laughs> Cheers, man. Right, fourth overall with 100 quid, picking up 100 quid. Chris Martin from Benny's 26, 110 pound, four ounces. Well done, well done mate. Well done, mate. <laughs> well done. Right, third overall. Vic, can never pronounce his name, Mara. 
Uh, peg 66 on Bonsai, 128.4, pick it up, 120 quid. Well done, mate. Uh, second overall, uh, winning 150 quid, Alex Doherty, peg 68, he's had a great weight, won the late 175 pound. Well done, Alex. Awesome. And the winner uh, on peg 48, Benny's. Great way, 200, uh, 204 pound, pick it up 210 quid. It is Stephen Curtin. Wow, well done, Steve. Awesome. Well done to all of you. And these are the qualifiers from Benny's Craig Tidswell, Chris Martin, Dave Wood, Terry Oldfield, and Stephen Curtis. From Bonsai, Paul Wright, Macaulay Duke, Vic Molyneux, Alex Doherty, Nick Speed. From Loco, Max Higgert. Simon Short, Martin Waters, Tom Pickering, and Stephen Topley. Well done to all of you, and I'll see you at the final. Well done, man. Top five, please, for a quick photo. Top five. Right, that's the end of that one. We're back home after the uh, presentation is done and dusted. We'll just put the light on for you, see if it, it makes it any better. But that's it. Uh, you probably already saw that. I ended up weighing £107, and... Um, the last hour were quite good for me. Uh, I've been fishing out in front and then down the, to my left. And I've been getting odd F1 and what have you. And I thought I've been feeding the right edge all match. And I, and I did try it before and I had nothing on it. And then I thought, oh, just give it a quick whirl while I'm, while I'm uh, not catching out on these two lines. And I went down to the right edge under the tree and I've ended up catching quite well. Uh, in the last hour, I've ended up putting quite a lot of fish to cover, probably about 40 or 50 pounds, to be honest. Um, it's been that good down that edge. Uh, and uh, yeah, I've ended up weighing 107 pounds. I've ended up coming fifth in the match, uh, picking up, I think it were 90 quid or something like that uh, for fifth in the match. Um, but the all important qualifier as well, that's what we're here to do. We're trying to qualify today. And they ended up coming third on the lake, I think it were, um, and qualifying um, towards the final, which is at Lindon Lakes at the end of November some point. So the Shimano Aero Cup, uh, yeah, that'll be great. Fantastic. Yay. Get in. Um, but I can't believe uh, Steve Curtis, his son boy, he ended up winning the match with... Uh, 208 pound he were on Benny's but the other side uh, and he says he's just caught on everything he's caught chucking across then down his edge um old Chris next door he goes to me at the end he goes oh well done Dave you've done me done me we had a quid on it you see and uh I've ended up giving him two quid because I said oh I ain't got a quid on me I've only got a two pound coin so I've ended up giving him that and he took it off me and all didn't he unbelievable so I'll give him that. I said, look, it's double or, double or nothing in the final. So I want to try and win me quid back. But he beat me at Boston and all did, Chris. And now he beat me today and all. Can't can't win off him. He's like my bogeyman. Um, and he's ended up weighing under than £10. He's come second on the lake. I've come third. So, um, yeah, all in all, great day. Nosher had £70. He didn't, didn't come anywhere, I don't think. Jeff didn't have all. Beefy didn't have all. Nah, all the other oh Craig Tiswell qualified as well. He come fifth in in the on the lake at Benny's. He he were further around the corner, so he's done he's done well. Well done, Craig. So that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. I'm gonna get in because it's a little bit dark now. It's getting a bit darker on these nights. Um it's soon winter time, won't it? That'll be rolling round. Um so I'm gonna get in, have have a bit of tea, and uh, that's it. So yeah, enjoyed that one. Really enjoyed it. Not off a great area as well, as well, um, in that bay. I didn't, I didn't fancy it, but you just, you can only do your best, don't you? And I were a bit like put off before and all this, but then that last hour has just absolutely slaughtered it down that edge. So it is what it is, isn't it? And we've qualified, so happy about that. Right, thanks very much for watching this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hats, hoodies, t-shirts, all available. If you want to email me at baguptv at gmail.com. Um, let me know your sizes because I've got loads of merch in stock um, If you want to become a member the, You can watch these videos before anybody else And uh, you get exclusive uh, Members only playlist You get to choose the playlist And there's over 125 videos in the playlist 
of older stuff when I first started doing the channel um, to the newer stuff, to the angling memories um, and all sorts of stuff. So there's loads and loads of stuff in the members on it. And if you want to become a member, go on to the uh, go on a desktop or if you've got an Android phone, just go on to my uh, YouTube and there should be a join button and you can pick join and pick which option you prefer on that one and become a Bag Up TV member. Thank you very much for everybody becoming a member. And that's it. Make sure you keep liking, subscribe up to the channel. That's free. Keep sharing the video. It is very much appreciated. And I do appreciate everything that you do for, uh, to keep sharing the video and everything like that. So thanks to everybody out there. Hope you enjoyed this one. We finally got in, didn't we? So we got one. Right, that's it. See you on the next one. Keep on bagging. We out. Fight, never quit, do it right. Thanks for tuning in the game. video. If you want to see more videos, hit this awesome shame. playlist down here. Yeah. Make pain. sure you hit the subscribe the button. And if you want to become a member, hit the join button. Thanks for watching the video, guys. We'll see you soon. Keep on bagging.